Hey YouTube, it's 185. Long time no see. I hope you guys are doing okay. It's been a while since I made a video. Yes, I have done all the main episodes of the four lane elimination race. The finale has not yet been filmed. I do apologize for any inconvenience. The reason I have not done anything lately is because I was staying in LA for a week for the second year in a row. Well, I wouldn't, I'd give the reason, but, all right, well, mm. yeah, well, the thing is, it's not, it wasn't personal, but, I'm back, figured I'd make that brief, there's the four lane elimination race out there, they'll use for the finale, the finale will be soon, I'm uh, thinking about filming it this weekend, There's my 118 scale collection. Also, if you don't know, there, I'm ha I won't be, I'll have to do a bit to post photos because I usually do photos for a form called Diecast Exchange. The thing is, I've been using Photo Bucket to do it, but Photo Bucket lately has decided that it doesn't want you, its users to host its images on third party sites for free anymore. And it's now going to be charging like around like $400. I'm not paying for that. So I've decided that I'm going to use Flickr from now on. I'm going to transfer all my images there. That's where I'm going to be hosting my photos there from now on. I've decided that I'm going to leave Photo Bucket and continue on with Flickr. Host my, use my, host my images from there, so, just want to let you know. Oh, yeah. Got some models while I was there, over in L.A. Three, I, most of them came from the Pearson Auto Museum. Uh, three of them came from, from the airport when I was at LAX, LAX, when I was leaving L.A., I did get two DOAs. One, oh, got tangled there. Did not notice that. Sorry. It's this mini. See that? There's an issue with the wheel. As you can see. I can focus up more, but the thing blurs. And and here's a special red line. I might leave it the way it is. But yes, it's a 69 Mercury Cyclone. It looks fine on this side, right? Look at the other side. The tan was a little messed up. I tend to make a big deal, right? but... I think I might leave it the way it is. I won't race it, but I'll leave it because of the town. You know, I like my cars to look good at this while they're racing. That's all. So yeah, I just want to let you know that's why I make a big deal out of it. I like my cars to look good while they race. But anyway, on with the cars that I am gonna use. You have a Humvee. Got to hook. Here was an old release, Hover Storm. Now we got a chromed out racer, Blitz Speeder. Is that me or is that Pablo's getting more creative with their cars every time? Every year, by, by the year. I mean, next year is their 50th birthday. Yeah, at least they got to plan something special for that. BMW M4. Here's a Matchbox Turn Tamer. Oops.
Here's a interesting car that I found. Speedy Prez. That's a nice Italian look. Paint scheme. Nice single seater. Next we have CCM Country Club Muscle. It looks like a old tornado. Now we have Skull Crusher. Got those nice wheels. Ooh. Wow. And by the way, those cracks are actually part of the body. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like that. Two thousand sixteen Chevrolet Camaro SS, which was made to celebrate the Camaro's fiftieth birthday, ironically. Missing a red strap on the bottom of the black. It's got a red on the bottom. Does it go all the way? Oh well. I can live with it. I can actually live with that. No, no, nothing's always perfect. 2013 Chevrolet Camaro Copo. Fram. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are, uh, pretty sure those are our air filters. Got skinnies on the front, fat wheels on the back. Next we have the 78 Dodge Little Red Express in blue. Looks pretty cool. Here's another matchbox. This is a 2014 Ford Transit news van. Looks pretty nice. It's got a satellite dish too. Let me see if I can get this open. Oh. See? That opens. A 69 Ford T Torino Talladega. Get the spirit right there. I always thoroughly look over for any tampo mistakes. Because like I said, I'd like for them to look good. I also roll them too. Make sure they're in top condition. Next we have Time a Taxi. This one was featured in a video game. A mobile racing video game called Need for Speed No Limits. Looks nice when you look, ask me. And we have a new casting with some nice blade stout wheels. Sky Dome. Oh, I just realized. The Spirit Prince has these too. See? I forgot to show those wheels when I was showing that car. Here's the Sky Dome. And yes, this clear part actually comes open. So you can see inside the car. And the last vehicle, a 67 Chevy C10. It's got that hot rod stance.
Look at that hood scoop. Nice truck. Anyway, that's all I have for the Hot Wheels. And you may have noticed, the wall looks different. I have actually decided to make more stills off of that Blur 2 video that I mentioned. I think it's safe to say that this is done. I think I've covered every part of that video now. Uh, which means that that's going to be... Remind me, I still got to work on my Blur 2 project that I still get to do. I've done all the images, now I got to do the video parts, add sound effects, and so, and on and on. And then you can see, I had to move some of the images. But, it's coming up, at least that's reminding me that I still got to keep on working. Alright, well, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, the camera's shaking a little bit. But anyway, I just want to let you know that I'm back. I will do the finale, the final elimination race finale, this weekend, hopefully. And have it up by Monday. So, yes, I'd like. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys understand how much, how much I mean. I got, I got like. 141 subscribers at the moment so if you can please subscribe to the channel uh, as to help it out and help it means a lot to me and I will see you guys next time also be sure to leave a like and a comment so until then be safe and I will see you guys next video peace out